Welcome to the Business of Beauty, where we help beauty entrepreneurs in building their business and reaching their dreams. This is your host, David Lee. Our guest today creates beauty illustrations and graphics that document the experiences she had as a young, multi-ethic, curly-haired woman trying out different beauty products. This also allows her to showcase small businesses as well. She is proud that she has created a little community among her small but mighty follower count. Others with a similar skin tone, skin type, or hair type can get recommendations based on the product she tries, which is something she looks for in other beauty Instagram accounts. Her superpower is taking an abstract concept and visually conveying it in a beautiful or aesthetically pleasing way. Welcome to the show, Gabby Zuniga. Um, thank you for being on the show. We're really excited. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm excited too. Yeah, yeah. So first of all, yeah, can you can you tell us a little bit more about, you know, like uh, what, you know, what you do? You, I mentioned, you know, illustrations and and what what you've done in the in the beauty world. Yeah, I um, I am a, a freelance illustrator and graphic designer by during the day. So I um so my my passion project is sharing my experiences as somebody as a beauty enthusiast. Um, so I, I will try out a, a beauty product, whether it's hair or skincare or makeup, and I come up with ideas on how I want to take that story. I want to take that experience and I want to convey it to the people that follow me, the people that see that illustration. Oh, okay. Wow. I just, I'm envisioning like this next level review, you know, some, <laughs> some, some, some Instagrammers or some, uh, some individuals, they, they talk about the product, but you take it a whole new yeah. level. You illustrate the whole product. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I try to like illustrate it and then convey like the, the mood or the idea. I think in one, one, uh, illustration was about some eyeliner that I got. Ah. And I kind of made it almost into like a comic form where you see in like one panel, I'm putting the eyeliner on, there's sparkles yeah. everywhere. I'm super yeah. happy. It looks really cute on me. And the next panel, the, the background is black. There's no eyeliner on my eyes. I look really angry because the eyeliner disappeared two hours later. Oh. That's an example <laughs> of <laughs> conveying the experience. Okay, it's so a great start, but uh, you know, it's a rough Girl, ending there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what I guess what products kind of motivate you to illustrate that product? Um, I think just what motivates me is if I have like a strong reaction to that product. Like my my favorites are definitely like eye products, eyeshadow, eyeliner. Um, I'm just getting into like face and and base makeup. So for the mm -hmm. most part, a lot of my uh, a lot of my, the products that you see on my feed tend to be uh, lip or eye products. I think those are just the easiest to get into, to dive into mm. as somebody who likes beauty. But anything that I just really like makes my heart sing, anything that really pops on my skin tone as somebody yeah. with brown skin, you know, because okay. a lot of these, a lot of websites, a lot of the swatches, they show the product on, on lighter skin tones. And that's mm. fine. But if I go and buy that product and I put it on my skin and it doesn't look, I can't see it. it it's not pigmented enough to show up. Then mm. I didn't have a good experience. So that's yeah. another reason why I want to um, showcase what works for my skin tone. Because when I go, when I log on to Instagram, I'm looking for people that look like me because they have a similar similar experience like I do. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Now, I guess how did you get the idea of you know like like illustrating the the products that, that you've been using um this i started it a couple of years ago um and the uh, the, the whole project i started a couple of years ago and i realized that i wanted to have some sort of beauty related platform hmm. i had been following beauty related instagrams other people who like beauty but they're more like they're not like they don't illustrate they just take photography and which is which yeah. is great but I noticed there weren't that, there was only one or two beauty illustrator kind yeah. of Instagram blog or reviewer type of accounts. So I realized I can combine what I love in beauty and I can combine what I love in making art and visuals and I can make it combine the two and turn it into my own little uh, platform. That's, that's really cool. Uh, have, has, has, uh, has any beauty products like reached out to you to do, you know, like any, any commercial work? Yeah, um, I've had, there was a, uh, an app 
uh, a hair app that I did a little bit of, of graphic design and illustration work for. There was a, just recently through, um, because I, I work, I'm a graphic designer for a marketing agency based in Florida. And there was, we did a, a, a logo for a, um, a small company in California. And uh, we connected and I was able to try their product. And that's my latest uh, post on the, on the account is trying out their, um, their whipped shea butter. And I've recently been in talks with a couple of other companies to do some work for them. Very cool, very cool. So I guess from, so uh, as, as a beauty entrepreneur uh, watching the show here, I guess what recommendations would you give them uh, for like inspiration, you know, like going down the path of, uh, you know, coming up with their, with their design, with their logo, even maybe even their, their mascot, uh, what, what would you, what would you recommend? What would you say to them? I recommend just not, don't limit yourself. I would take, uh, whatever experience, whatever product, whatever, even color kind of just really resonates with you, whatever makes you excited, take that take that experience and isolate it. Think about what makes you, what makes you happy. Think about uh, what you visualize. Um, I would, I, I'm a huge fan of like uh, concepts and thumbnails and sketches and just taking a little abstract idea, writing down everything you think about when you associate with that idea, come up with any idea you can, as many as ide ideas as you can in order to come up with like a, like a social media post or a, a website graphic or anything like that and then uh i would just and then i to take it further i would look at what other companies do is there a company that makes really great visuals for visual reference that you love and i would take some inspiration off of that i'm not saying copy them but i'm just saying like note what they do and try to combine it with your own ideas to take them to the next level okay okay yeah is it like so so pretty much your is there like a a uh, process that you follow, like a creative process that you follow. You're coming with, uh, you know, a logo or illustration for a project. I a lot of it is um, I take the the uh, I take the the concept or an abstract con a vague big concept around it. I start to draw different thumbnails. I draw different ideas, different visual compositions. Um, I look up visual reference or visual. Um, inspiration i'm really inspired by the um like 1950s graph design from different countries or um even um like alphonse Mucha. i'm highly inspired by that like paintings of the impressionists um basically just finding inspiration visual inspiration from the past um looking at what current beauty companies are doing now and they can draw inspiration from that if i can't think of any ideas then I start to pick one or two ideas to narrow down. I get the color scheme, I get the, um, the art style. I pick what art style I want to, to use in this illustration. And then I get to working on the final illustration or graphic and I just refine, refine, refine. I make sure everything looks exactly how I want it. And then once that's done, I will post it. Nice, nice. Now. So, wow, this, this sounds like a lot of work. And I'm sure like <laughs> as, as a beauty entrepreneur, like they're already listening, like, okay, well, um, sounds like a lot of work. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I should go down this path um, mm -hmm. because like it would, you wouldn't necessarily say move away, you know, not have photography at all and replace with illustrations, but illustrations right. really is a complimentary like platform, like a brand, um, like another way to, to add you know, more, uh, more, more creativeness to your brand. Right. So, um, what would you say, like the, the pros and cons to having this additional, like marketing style or element to your mm -hmm. brand, you know, to your beauty brand would be, I would say the pros are definitely that you can, you can customize it. You can make things a little bit more abstract. You can stylize it. Yeah. Um, you'll see um, some beauty brands with really, um, I think it was, it's Coors X that has that really, it's that Korean brand or Coors, I think that has that, those really stylized cartoons. Like you can do something like that a lot easier than you can with photography. Yeah. Um, you get this really unique, creative, customized visual with illustration. Mm -hmm. um, I think with 
but the 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 con side of it is that it'll take a little bit longer than photography it's a little bit more <laughs> labor intensive than uh yes, than photography. yes so just a comparison's sake uh how long does it take to create um you know that that the illustration piece mm -hmm. um it really depends on how complex it is um because this is like my personal blog and i'm not always making commercial work on this Sometimes I, I have as much time as I want. So sometimes I'll scrap an idea and come up with something totally different. But um, from start to finish, the first maybe couple of hours, I'm looking up reference and I'm also sketching out ideas. Mm -hmm. And then it'll take, in order for me to completely draw a, like a beauty product, to, to fully render, fully illustrate it, fully get like the line work all perfect. It'll take about an hour and then coloring, uh, col coloring the creative, creating the final will, and then adding text. If I add text to it, will take about say like anywhere from two to four hours. Mm, okay, okay. That's so the whole process. Yeah, yeah. So would you say <laughs> like creating the whole illustration, working with a business, a client, would you say it would take a week or multiple weeks to do? Um, I would say I would say it took about a week if it's a really complex, really like crazy, uh, full blown illustration, lots of yeah. details, lots of text placement, all of that. I take it probably take about two weeks. Okay, and this is like one like like what poster size or would it be like a whole like almost like you know when I when you think I, mean, I saw some of your work is beautiful by the way. Um, Thank you. It's, uh, you know, I envision like it could be in a, in a comic book or a manga, you know, <laughs> you know, that that's the type yeah. of you know, style I'm thinking about, you know, creating, mm -hmm. you know, like you could, you could also, I'm just coming thinking about different ideas is if I was yeah. a beauty entrepreneur, um, mm -hmm. I would, I would ask you to create like pretty much almost like this whole, you know, story, like comic story or manga story about you know maybe a character using the beauty product and you know they 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 have this transformation you know maybe that's a storyline right yeah. um, but that's a that's a very unique style where i haven't seen much you know other beauty products it's pretty much this the same old here's a simple logo and mm -hmm. uh, here's a few pictures and this is one way to kind of break through that noise right yeah definitely um now okay so how, how like how much is it cost to hire an illustrator like yourself to to create something like this um it really depends on what the project is mm -hmm. and it really depends on how uh how big of a reach the beauty brand has like how big that beauty beauty brand is mm -hmm. um like if it's say like, uh, and it also depends on what you want to use the illustration for or what, what you want to use the graphics for. So let's say you just want to use it on like uh, a blog article, you know, you have a blog, you want uh, an image above the blog and you want the image to kind of summarize what the blog is about in an eye catching way to get somebody to stop and read it. Yeah. Um, that'll be a lot cheaper than let's say like a whole, like a, a, a website graphic that's going to permanently be on somebody's website forever. Mm -hmm. Or let's say a, um, like a three part social media post on Instagram. Okay. Okay. And that person has, so it really, it's kind of hard to, to price it because it really depends on each individual business and what they need. Okay. So how about this? I'll run a scenario. Okay. Okay. Uh, what if a beauty entrepreneur says, okay, I need, um, uh, to to create a you know like a like a, a mascot right like someone a a character an illustration that represents my brand maybe he or she or maybe it's it's an animal or or mythical creature something that represents like the, our brand and uh, mm -hmm. we we need we need that how, well how much how would how would you how would you I guess go about doing that and and the, mm -hmm. the cost to something like that. Right. So we would probably have a few meetings to determine what they would look like. Um, and then we would, I would create the, the, the first drafts we would, or I would create like probably like three first drafts, like kind of like a logo setup. Mm -hmm. We would pick, uh, which one to move forward with revise, revise, revise until it's perfect. Um, probably, probably around, I would say 600 to 800. Okay. Okay. For that, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay. Um, so I guess any any um, any advice for our beauty entrepreneurs watching the show? What would you what would you uh, say to them? I would say uh, don't be afraid to be creative. Don't be afraid to if you have an idea, if you have a visual in your head. Um, I would say don't be afraid to figure out a way to to get that. Figure out how to get that visual. Uh, to to express it some way, whether it's photography, whether it's drawing, whether it's video, um, a lot of the um, a lot of the beauty brands, kind of like you mentioned, kind of look a little bit the same. And I noticed the ones that have really cool visual, um, really cool like visual campaigns, they they kind of break the mold. They they get experimental. They get a little bit not out there, but they, they get really creative and it, it becomes something really unique to their brand. So I just would say, don't be afraid to, to think out of the box. Okay. Okay. Nice. Nice. Well, uh, how can our audience reach you? Um, you could reach me at my, uh, my beauty Instagram handle is drawn to beauty. Mm -hmm. Um, you can also reach me at my website, which is Gabby's um, and you can and reach me with my email, which is gabbysniga.art at gmail.com. Okay. Well, uh, again, thank you so much for being on the show, you know, uh, you know, and for, for those that are watching, definitely check out her work. It is awesome. Um, and, uh, you know, there's, there's, yes, we were talking about a little more creative pieces on, yeah. on this, you know, on this particular episode, but I hope that through watching this episode, it kind of unlocks areas of, of opportunities for your business to, to kind of get yourself out there, you know, for the beauty in the beauty world, it's just so, so cluttered, right. With, with the same yeah. old message over and over again. So this is definitely one unique way. I mean, yes, it's a little longer. It's uh, you know, it may be more expensive than taking a regular old photo. Right. Um, but it is definitely a way to differentiate your product or your service out there in this in this world. And I like you what you mentioned, you know, even actually before the show, you talked about, you know, that that story, right? Yeah. Um, over time you can build that story almost like, you know, reading a comic book or reading a manga and and or even watching an, an animated series, right? And I can kind of visualize and imagine your illustrations coming to life eventually too. It could fully animate it if you really wanted to um to to add to your brand so i thought that was really cool so uh anyways i uh thank you for being on the show and uh we'll see you next time Bye. hey beautypreneurs i'm david my team and i created a website kit for fellow entrepreneurs looking to grow their business online whether it's e-commerce or a service-based business we've got you covered this will also help us continue our webcasts and provide valuable knowledge to countless beauty entrepreneurs watching. For more details, check out our website kits at beautybiz.info forward slash website kits. If you like the videos that we make, you can support us by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. Thanks. We'll see you next time.